Meet Theodore, the quail in a cast, at Wild Care in East Ham, next. Cape Cast. So guys, what's the story with this beautiful quail? So this here is a, a male Quartunix quail, and this is actually a non-native species. It was found by a concerned citizen um, in her backyard in Harwich. And um, this quail would normally be from Europe. Um, what happens is often people will raise them. They're good for production of eggs and also meat um, for people who are interested in eating them. Um, but also some people just raise them as pets. As you can see, it's a really lovely little bird. Um, so this bird came to us from a concerned citizen and has a leg injury, as you can see. And we actually had to create a special splint um, for this bird's leg. All right, Alex, so we're looking at your sort of MacGyver-like laboratory of things that might be used to help quails with feet Feet trouble. issues, yeah. So basically, you can trace the healthy foot, put the healthy foot on the butter lid, trace that, because you know that that's in the right position, and then flip it upside down, because that'll match what the other foot should be. Um, I've made up a little uh, extra one, so I taped a little bit of um, makeup applicator to that just to cushion his foot so oh, he doesn't... Nice. I mean, if you're if you're running on a butter lid all the time and you're not used to shoes, that's not that's not going to feel very But nice. strangely enough, the first five Boston Marathon winners were running on butter on lids. On butter lids, yeah. yes. You know, uh, they say it's more natural that way. Yeah, and it's kind of slippery and delicious. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can't believe it's not butter. Um, and so here's the paper clip. And we, we try to cushion that too with a little bit of uh, makeup applicators. You wouldn't think that rehabbers would know what makeup applicators are. <laughs> hey, is that Quackers over there? It is Quackers. The super mascot of the whole place? Quackers, what up? <laughs> you get to bigger kitty pool because all the ducklings are using. No show is complete without Quackers making an appearance. Uh, Doesn't seem to slow Theodore down as he looks for available bugs. Oh, Theodore. You have stolen my heart in a way that most <laughs> birds never do. The woman who brought him in actually had him in her house for a week um, before she brought him to us. And she knew we needed care, so she did the right thing by bringing him. But she would like to adopt him. So Theodore has a home. <laughs>